So, uh, I guess we'll start with what's your disability and how, it effect, how does it affect you? Well, I've got cerebral palsy and spastic quadrupedia. And physically, it means all four of my limbs don't work. But there's a lot more like to disability that like people don't sometimes understand. Like, mentally and logically, like, it's difficult. Because people say to you, they're like, oh, just because you've got a disability doesn't mean that you can't live a normal life. But they say that because that's the, that's the positive thing to say. They don't think about all the things that are associated with it. Like, finding a job for anybody is like, um, really difficult. But like, when you're disabled, you have to factor in like, all, all other aspects as well. Like, for example, I have carers and stuff, so I'd have to take them with me to the job I do. So like, I couldn't, I couldn't go and work in a nursery, for example, because the policies and procedures that um, they have to follow might not allow the carers to be there because of like protecting the children. Mm. So that's, that's more difficult. So like, when you've got your carers, do you feel like maybe people treat you differently because the carers are around? Or they, they do this annoying thing and you've probably had it as well, like, where they speak to the carer and you know, yeah. Oh, like, oh. That annoys me so much. It, it, it's really annoying, is it? Like, yeah, it's so like. Speak to the hero. Yeah. Like, it, I'm not here. It's so like degrading and everything. Like, I get what you mean. Like, it happens to me as well when like I'm with my mom and things or something. And like, Do I start speaking to your mom? Yeah. It's. And I like. like because. Peter, like, tell me if I'm wrong, but people. As, uh, with me. And with a lot of disabled people, people see me disability first. And people, like, people say they don't, but then they or they do. They say they don't see the disability and stuff, but they do. They do with the way they act. Like they speak to you and everything. They're not rude, but they speak to you like you're a baby. And then when you say something, they look. Like, you're very intelligent. No, yeah. I'm exactly the same as you. Look, like, you know what I mean. Is it, do you reckon that's like? The representation of disabled people. Yeah, like as soon as a disabled person like um, shows um, like intelli intelligence, almost we'll call it intelligence. Like intelligence is like a political subject, for example. Yeah. Like people think that just because you're disabled, your political views are going to be like childish, almost. Yeah, yeah. They don't expect you to have a, f a full opinion where you can start a debate. So when you do, they automatically call you um, inspirational and all that. Yeah. You, you're not. You're just normal. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what, like, that, that, that's exactly right. Like, whenever you see on the news or, or like, a programme or something, disabled people are automatically represented as an inspiration. And that's, that's not how it should be. Do you know what I mean? Well, they, they are, because the media, they're very clever. Like, they only show you the cases where a disabled person's been really ill or they've, they've had mistreatment by NHS or private care or something. Yeah. They've had mistreatment, they've been really ill. So obviously they're going to be an inspiration because they've overcome so much. But us lot, like, we haven't been particularly ill. Yeah. Have we? Like, yeah, that's right. I'm going to ask you another question because I think this is interesting and I like, I like getting different people's uh, opinions on it. So, yeah. if uh, if if someone gave you a medicine or like something that would fix your disability as you are now and make you completely able-bodied and completely like, uh, well, able-bodied, would you take it? Oh. Hard question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ask that in everyone because I think it's interesting for um, the answer. I would, I, I don't know, yes and no. I mean, I would take it. Not not because I don't, I don't enjoy who I am today, but I don't, I would, like, I don't want the added stuff that comes with being disabled. I have nothing against disabled people, but I would happily take I would happily take the medicine because it just makes it easier to live life. Like you don't have any added complications. Like people say that life's complicated anyway, which it is. But then try thinking about 
oh yeah, but this person's gonna come and I have to do this and I can't yeah. do this because I have to take this person with me or I have to rely on this person to take me. That's, like, in, that's interesting. Or, or, or that, like, I, I would take it because it gets rid of all the extra stress that comes with being disabled. Yeah, like, my, like, that's interesting because my, my answers to that is completely different because I would say, like, my disability is another thing that makes me me. But, on another hand, the, the thing that, the, the, Oh, how should I put it? The, uh, the, 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 like, the stuff that come, come, to a certain extent, I can, I can, like, I, I don't need to care everywhere I go and everything. Uh, uh, so, I don't really see my disability as a problem, but with you, and with, like, other wheelchair users, and David, and, and, and my, my brother and things, like, there, there's a lot more. It's a big, it's yeah. a big, yeah, see, I'm not, like, I wouldn't change it now because I'm stuck with it, but if I, if I could just relieve all of the other things, like, if I could get out of my chair, like, I'll still be disabled, but I can get out of my chair and yeah. stuff, that wouldn't be an issue because I can, I can, like, maybe crawl or something and do some things myself, but, you know, because you're stuck in the chair yeah. and you constantly have to rely on people to, like, transfer you and stuff that's why i would take it i wouldn't take it to change like disability that's necessarily that's interesting that is interesting uh, do you do you think as well like we've touched on it briefly but it's just people's mindsets towards it i reckon that's that's my big thing like yeah like it's it's not necessarily my physical disability but it's just how i feel like people are perceiving me yeah like people say to me they're like your legs, your legs don't work, your arms don't work, but your brain works. Yeah, that's true, but my, my, like, it's not, it's true, but it's not true in, in a sense, because, yeah, my legs don't work, my arms don't work, but my brain works, my brain does work, but it makes it, it makes it harder. But like our, our brains have to work harder, I think, yeah. to de to deal with all the problems that we have. Like people, people like able-bodied people, they um when their problems solve, they I think some of them don't think about absolutely everything. Yeah. But us as disabled people, we have to think of absolutely everything in order to do something. Yeah, in order to do a lot of times what other people consider like the most basic of things, you know what I mean? Yeah. But we have to like it, like I'm always tired. For example, like when I come back from college, I I am I am tired, and I think that's not to a lot of the time. I don't think that's physically tired. I think Is it mentally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can't do work because you're so mentally tired. You just want to stop. Yeah. But people don't understand that. People think you're using it as an excuse. But you're really not using it as an excuse that it really exists. But I always say to people, I say, do you know what I, I say to them? I'm like, I'll put you in a wheelchair, strap you in, and you have to live exactly how I live. Because then tell me you don't develop some kind of change in, in yeah. like how you think. Yeah, that's right, that's right. And like, with, with you as well, like, um uh like do you do you go out do you go out places do you, do you i do but the thing is like you know how like you go to the pub and that and like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> to make me out to be right i can't hear you know, yeah, you know like, how you go out with friends and stuff yeah i can't necessarily do i could lot physically i could I could t I could tell that like, one of my carers to take me or something. Yeah. But see, it's that added thing of taking the carer. Like, it's a bit of a thing. Like, you don't really want to do things because you think, oh, they they're gonna judge me and they're gonna they're gonna think that I'm a certain way and I'm really not. Yeah. Like, with disabled people, you go out, but you I'm not, I'm not really myself. Like. Like when I'm here, I like on myself because I'm with you and I don't have anybody with me. But as soon yeah. as I have any anybody with me, like, it's like I'm not a different person, but I kind of am, to be honest. Cause, yeah. Because 
Because you, you have to constantly think of the other person or the other people that are with you. Yeah, and like, I suppose when you have a carer, like, um, when people see a disabled person with a carer, like, they instantly think, like, oh, look at that disabled person with a carer. And they, they feel like, a, like, I don't know, as if you may be back to the thing with intelligence and things as if you like maybe like not able to do like yeah I haven't got mental capacity yeah, yeah, yeah. mental capacity yeah I got that a lot I was in super drug the other day and the woman literally came and spoke to me like I was a two year old I was like okay and the thing is like you can't like what can you say to that you can't like you like I spent when someone does that to me and like I've spent all my life proving to everyone that, that you're I, not like that that I'm not I'm not the way people see me I'm I'm not like a helpless disabled person <laughs> uh, do you know what I mean sound effects <laughs> uh, like mental health yeah yeah uh, do uh, do you, do you have any mental health issues and do you think your disability may have played a part in that and why well, not like, I don't have like diagnosed issues, but like, I, I do have counselling, like, not not like for disability, like other stuff as well. But then I've realised as I've been telling my counsellor, like all this stuff that that's going on, like disability factors like massive part of that, to be honest, because, okay, people, people say that, oh, um, getting, getting, for example, getting married, um, finding a job, all that is stressful. But I would say nothing apart from being being ill with any any sort of illness or like anything like that is more mentally tiring than trying to live life like not normally. Yeah. With a disability, yeah. like it's it's really hard because you have to you have to live up to your own expectations, and then other people's. But your own expectations can be crowded because like you forget that like oh right I'm, I'm disabled this is going to be a bit difficult. I support with like the future and stuff, and like, I was thinking I was thinking. This is going to be ten times harder than like normal people. Like it's hard for like normal people to do it, like get on the property ladder and stuff. But then you have to think about like all these adaptations and stuff. Yeah. And I don't know if you've like watched TV or book and seen the programs on the adaptation houses, but like they're not actually like that. Like they're practical, but like. Yeah. It's not the same as having another house. Yeah. It's like, you know, if you had a normal house, it'd be, like, really nice. And, yeah. And everything's furnished. And, but yeah. then, then, then you get the disability houses. You can't Everything is just, like, folded. You know the folded, um, folded, like, chairs and tables and that? Does that do this? Is that a thing? Yeah. Have you not seen it? No. Location, location, location. <laughs> 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 there's a there's a um, woman that spent her compensation money on a flat. Yeah. And she had like all disability like equipment, but because it was a flat. Yeah. She had to have it folded. Okay. So, so so like what you're saying is that like able-bodied people could have their 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 house like furnished and all nice and everything and looking nice, but with it, with having. Uh, your flat or your uh, or your home uh, made adapted for a disabled person, you it's, lose. It's, it's not always pretty, is it? No, like? you lose that, and, yeah. and that that also affects uh, back to like mentally and things. That, self esteem and yeah, things. self esteem and like, because everyone wants like a nice looking house. Like it's just something like like. It, if you've got a nice looking house, it'll make you happy and things like that. I don't know, maybe you could, maybe you could buy one, but, like, it's going to be a lot of money, like, I was talking from the average person, like, my perspective, your perspective, that like, the people with money could probably find a way to, like, buy things and then, like, make it look nice in the house, 
Because they have, they have the budget to do that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you've got the budget to do it, go go ahead and do it, why not? Because I would, I would if I did. But, like, because they have, like, average people, like, who, like, just about to get a job and like, just starting out, like, it's a bit, it's going to be a bit difficult to do that. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to Kieran for uh, doing this video with me. And, uh, Thank if you... For having me. If you if you do enjoy, make sure you do subscribe over there uh, for more videos on all things disability, and you can also watch another video here if you want. Uh, but thank you, thank you anyway. And I have got a Facebook page if you want to go and like that. Uh, that'll be on the screen somewhere. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. See you later.